Like these well-preserved temples in Chiang Mai, my next dish is one that sticks to tradition, unchanged through the centuries while still remaining as popular as ever. The Thais take their traditions very seriously, from temples to food. And one recipe that's been passed down through generations is Geng Hang Wei, a curry that's special to the people of Chiang Mai. Geng Hang Wei is unlike any other curry I've tried in Thailand. Originally from Burma, it's on the sweet side, with ginger and pickled garlic for extra bite. And I've come to Huen Wen Jai, a local joint known for its famous Geng Hang Lei. My curious taste buds are sent into overdrive. I head into Huen Wen Jai's kitchen to meet the owner and find out why the locals love his curry. His answer is flavour. More than 15 ingredients go into making Geng Hang Lei, from fiery to sweet to the unmistakably Thai. Piki Nu Hang, me Katiam Takai. It's no easy task, and I'm quite literally finding out the hard way. Ready? Okay. Ten minutes later and the paste is finally done. Time to add a few other things. Shallots and cherry tomatoes add a sweet note to the curry, while pickled garlic and ground peanuts give the dish its unique local flavour. So can you make Geng Hang Lei without the fermented garlic or it's impossible? Quite a lot of sugar, so this is pretty sweet actually as curries go. Sweet and sour. Mm. Lovers of Indian curry will recognize the flavors of the Hang Lei powder, which includes cardamom, cloves, and cumin. It smells so aromatic, that spice powder you just put in. Finally, a few tablespoons of fish sauce to bind the dry ingredients together. It smells really, really good. <laughs> Well, Chef has just told me that he's mixing all the ingredients, it's coming together. And after this, we just have to leave it for a couple hours so all the flavours can really penetrate the meat. And then we'll come back and cook up a delicious Geng Hang Lei curry. Patience is definitely the biggest virtue. The aromas that come out of the wok are like an invisible performance of dancers on a stage, twirling to the beat of the bubbling stew. Without tasting it, I can already tell that the flavours have fully penetrated the meat. After all my hard work on the pestle and water, it's finally time for me to enjoy the fruits of my labour. After hours of stewing, the meat is so tender, it almost falls apart. Let's have a taste. Hmm. You know, the marination process where we put the pork together with all the spices, all the flavourings really makes a difference because right deep in that huge piece of pork belly, you can really taste all the flavourings, all the spices. You know, it's not what I would call light food, but it's definitely really delicious. ได้กินของเครื่องเทศอาหารแล้วก็รสชาติของมันเนี่ยกลมๆเหมือนเราได้มาอยู่ที่เชียงใหม่จริงๆมีเครื่องเทศดีต่อสุขภาพไม่เผ